Both of these teams are going to be fired up, ready to go. Uh, you know who else is fired up, guys, as always? I can't wait mm, to hear do this. Do tell. <laughs> <laughs> you guessed it, Buckified Burt. And then, of course, we've got Casey Sloan and her stat chat of the week. So let's hear it. Hello, Wally and the crew, Bucks Bonus crew. Look, uh, I'm uh, so happy to have the opportunity to talk to you guys once again about the Bucks last week. Yep, we uh, had a rough game. Uh, we should have won. But we'll play this team again December the 10th, and I promise you it's going to be totally different. Uh, everything will be on the line. We sputter in a little bit, a little bit, but this Thursday we'll be playing against the Buffalo Bills, and this game is going to be an upset just like we was last week. We was upset with losing to the Atlanta Falcons, those dirty birds. We're going to upset the world when we upset the Buffalo Bills. They don't even see it coming. I promise you Thursday we're going to upset the Buffalo Bills when we get this um, train back on the right track and uh, give my stats of the week stats of the week Casey Sloan she's going to take care of the stats of the week and this is Bucket by Burt and I am out hey guys so the Bucks lost Sunday it was frustrating it was ugly the offense just wasn't getting the job done but I'll tell you what Antoine Winfield Jr. kept the Bucks one hopes alive with his clutch play towards the end of the game the safety had a huge force fumble punching the ball out of QB Desmond Ritter's hand at the one-yard line, resulting in a touchback and preventing Atlanta from scoring. Sunday's forced fumble was his third of the season, which is a new career high, and is tied for most in the NFL this season. Since he entered the league in 2020, Winfield has recorded eight career forced fumbles and is tied for second most among defensive backs over that span. So on top of that, he recorded seven tackles against the Falcons and broke up a pass, making him Casey's stat chat player of the week. That's all I have for you guys. See you next week. Oh my goodness. I love the still at the end. I know she's like, see you next week. You better be there <laughs> or be square. She's the best. Um, yes, Casey Sloan, the best. Um, actually, we've got her article right here too that she posted on our website at WFLA.com. Bucks face short turnaround after falling out of first place. Face bills in prime time outing. Going back to what Buckified Burt says, that prime time game. I mean, he's he has got <laughs> he has got the Bucks. I'll give Bu I'll Bucks. give Burt Bu something here yeah. that I hope the Bucks can take away from it. Okay. He never changes his demeanor. Yeah. So I want the Bucks to keep their demeanor the same and just have the, that positive uh, uh, outlook and not let yeah. the game linger into a second loss or a third loss in a row for yeah. what it is. Um, so I think the Bucks can can learn something from our friend with the pirate ship hat. Yeah.